How's everybody doing today? It's Sunday. Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to everybody out there. All you dads. Last night we had a pretty rough storm from that tropical mess that came up the state and um, had a little bit of damage. Had some damage to the greenhouse. Just knocked open the, the vent, which that's fine, it's still here. But the panel on the roof is gone. And we've looked everywhere, can't find it. And all those peaches we picked yesterday off of that tree, we had a limb break on it. I'm assuming it's from all the wind. Plus it was weighted down pretty good with all these peaches. So we're gonna come out here in a few minutes and uh, we're going to pick all the good ones we can off of there before they get before they get rotten. Got a few things we're going to do today. It's kind of a going to be a smorgasbord of stuff we're going to do. And uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get on the tractor and I'm going to ride around our lot over here. It's grown up. I'm going to ride around and see if I can find that panel. But uh then we're gonna put up we're gonna put up some flags to keep the birds out of our garden and uh, any critters that might want to get in it. And I think Mrs. Heather is going to paint. All right, so I didn't find. I did not find the panel. So it may be long gone, blown off the bluff. Who knows? So I'm gonna get uh, our flags. I'm gonna tie some of our flags up to the top of the greenhouse. Probably come all the way over some of these stakes. I'll probably have to put another stake down there in the end. I think it's 25 feet long. We've got two runs of it, so we may put another run across the top of the blackberries over there. You know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We don't really plan anything. We just press record and start doing. So. So, a guy over at another channel, um, Jason Smith at Cog Hill Farm, you'll go check them out, they're pretty cool, find a lot of interesting info on that channel. But he had these flags put up, and his are some kind of uh, Tibetan prayer flags. These were fairly cheap on Amazon. I think he uses them to keep birds and deer away. We're, we're trying that out. We're trying that out over here. We've found some critters like to get in our uh, garden beds and mess around. We found some 
strawberries that were eaten by the birds. So, uh, I don't know, we're trying it out. Seeing how it works for us. Okay. I don't think those need any water. I think they look really sad because of that tropical storm. They might have a little bit of shock coming out of that greenhouse. That thing's probably 10 or 20 degrees warmer right. inside there than it is out here. So what do you want to do now? felt good yesterday but it was also raining let's figure out how tall these railings need to be on this porch okay. oh my yeah I had another limb Got some limbs and leaves everywhere. Wish we could find those that panel. What? Wish we could find that panel. We'll probably be we'll be down on the bluff one day and be like, oh, remember that? Of course it is. It's a big old limb. Do y'all see anything? Ducks, do y'all know where that panel went to on the greenhouse? They don't know nothing. Well, we're gonna tackle this rail, these railings, at least on the sides of the porch. We might do we might do the post on the front. Depend on how tall these railings are gonna be. They don't need to be tall, it's four or five year old. It's just for looks anyway, it doesn't really do anything. It's only twelve inch twelve inches up from the from the ground. But we're gonna do these railings. So here we go. Let's get on it. What? For a five year old or for, no, it's for, I'm wondering. for a twenty nine year old. I don't know. I need to figure out how tall it needs to be. Alright. So where's it gonna be? Well, the only ones we can do right now are this side and that side. Okay. So we can figure out how far up it needs to be. You know, don't need to be man size. No. Because this is not a man size porch. Right. So put your hand back up. Needs to go like probably. Yeah. 
Spacers. Oh no! In the wrong place. if we have those okay we got both sides of the rails on the porch pretty much done except for some fancy scroll work it's going to go underneath this trim it's going to be kind of a scalloped edge and we've got to have two posts one here and one here on each side of the door and there'll be a little bit of railing in between in between that so we're out of one before's. We gotta have one before's to do the covering on this. We're just covering it up with one before's instead of doing the stain. Because we want them to be white and we're going to put some molding on them to make them look a little fancy. But, uh, yeah, so that's what we did just now. And looks looks pretty decent to go 20 inch tall um, rails and we wanted to keep it kind of small so that it wouldn't look too big for this little porch it was a good idea on mrs heather's part but anyway keep on keeping on
we're going to knock off early. Heather's finishing up some touch-up paint on the uh, trim work for the window boxes that we're going to put on CC's Playhouse to plant flowers in. They're wooden boxes that we built a couple of videos ago. She's got them painted up. She's got the trim painted. We're waiting on it to dry. As soon as it dries, we'll put that up. And she's doing a little bit of touch-up paint on the Playhouse railing that we just now installed so I think we're gonna knock off and spend the rest of this Father's Day grilling out and I'm gonna have a beer and some hot dogs and sausage just what every father should have on Father's Day Hey guys, we did one more thing before we called it a day. Heather did a good job painting these planter boxes. So we went ahead and got those we got those things on there. But they look pretty good. I just gotta put some trim around the edges. Some white one by two trim right here and down that way. Making progress slowly. I just say way too much ice cream, y'all. Way too much. My goodness. Had hot dogs and sausage and baked beans. And homemade chocolate ice cream. It was wonderful. Y'all have a really good Father's Day. We appreciate y'all watching and hope y'all have a really good one. We'll talk to you next time. See you later. Ooh.